Taiwan and South Korea reached new heights in August. That's according to the latest trade data issued by USDA and compiled by the U.S. Meat Export Federation. Exports to Taiwan totaled over 7,400 metric tons, valued at nearly $64 million, while shipments to Korea topped $183 million on a volume of over 27,000 metric tons. U.S. MEF President and CEO Dan Hallstrom says that Taiwan's food service sector has made an impressive recovery from COVID-19 related restrictions imposed earlier in the year while retail demand for U.S. beef remains extremely strong. So we're seeing food service not only back to normal in Taiwan, but probably exceeding where we were pre-COVID. And of course, retail continues to grow in Taiwan as well. And U.S. beef dominates the chilled import market share uh, with excess of 80 percent share. And so that's been a real positive for the U.S. industry. Andy says the food service environment has been a little bit more challenging in Korea, where restaurants and hotels have faced several rounds of COVID-19 safety measures throughout the year. That's a look at your farm and ranch news. Have a great day.